production journey man where, where did that begin that began officially i mean i did it growing up but officially about 1988 when i graduated from high school i started working uh 88 89 i started working with this guy named dallas austin and well we were friends but he was his brother was like yo he's doing beats and he gonna blow up and you come up here and work with us in this production company we got and then you'll you know you'll be able to do your thing so i started there with dallas and so we did a lot of big records i did i i come from the hip-hop community but professionally i ended up doing a lot of production for tlc boys to men madonna michael jackson i worked on all of those songs that's what got my feet wet for the music business but the production started then with uh dallas and i think it was it might have been ABC. I don't know if you remember that group ABC. They had that song Aisha and Playground. It's a it's an older song, but it was a kid group back then, a hip hop group. And so I I would do production with this production crew with Dallas Austin. Well, it was just me and him at first, but mm-hmm. uh, you know I used to program the drums and put the cuts in, and so that's how I got started. And uh, kind of like in hip hop and R and B, which is kind of a it's kind of a, a, a jump start, you know what I mean? Most people in the house with their boys rapping, but I ended up somehow in the studio and Whitney Houston is walking by, and you know, Terrence Trent Darby is walking by, all of these big artists, So and Soul to Soul. So I got to really get my feet wet with, with a lot of the uh, the big boys. Wow, and that's, that's such an incredible, incredible um, journey. So, so yeah. how how did you end up going down the, the hip hop path and and not um, following Dallas down R and B and pop lane? Well, that's the thing. I always did the hip hop, and if you listen to um, the songs that Dallas and the production companies that we did, they're very hip hop influenced because I did the drum program and sampling for them. So, like, I did TLC Creep with Dallas, right? Oh, wow. And if you listen to it, I sampled. Um, Public Enemy, guess who's back? Actually, no, I take that back. I sampled Slick Rick, which was actually Shinehead. This is a long, you know, everybody samples everybody. And there's a lot of cuts in there if you listen to it. Guess who's back? It's funny because Eminem ended up using it too. But um, I was always with a rap group, always had me a group that I was working with when I was doing the R&B. So... Soon, as you remember, it changed over from 90s, 90 to about 93, hip hop started hitting, especially in Atlanta. Outkast and a lot of other groups would come through Atlanta and record. So I ended up doing a lot of production for those guys. And um, that's how I started. You know, one of, in fact, one of my rap groups was this group named Mose, M O Z A E. And uh, they were like mid 90s. And um, they were like Outkast, but they say everybody's like Outkast down here. They were a two-man group, and so I got to working on them a lot, and um, a couple of more groups, but just mainly just doing the hip-hop side of R&B that he brought, you know what I mean? And injecting that in all of the songs. If you, uh, I did a song, Vibin'. It was by Boys the Men. If you remember, it was Busta Rhymes, Craig Mack. I don't know if you remember that remix. It was a Boys the Men remix with all these hip-hop artists on it. So I worked on that with these brothers named Tim and Bob. So I brought the cuts, hard drums and stuff like that to it. So I would always inject some good hip hop into R and B. Oh, so nice. that was about mid, you know, early and mid nineties. Wow. And so you and um, Dallas pied ways around ninety seven, right? Um, yeah, about ninety seven. Yeah, we, okay. we. I mean, we still we were cool, but I was, you know, his checks were like this big, and my checks was like this big. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I got to do my own thing. You know what I mean? And so I ended up just doing, uh, going straight hip hop and dealing with, with hip hop.